Buonasera. I will be the first one to honor this lectern because my English is a bit poor, so you will forgive me for staying here. Uh, my name is Mariano. I'm an Italian magician. And in the wake of a very old tradition, I'm looking for the elixir of life. During this search, a kind of alchemical quest, I've made some discoveries that I want to share with you. In 2004, neuroscientist Peter Se performed an interesting computer-based experiment. He made a circle flashing on a screen for a certain amount of time, asking participants to evaluate the duration of that time. A second group was involved in a similar series of flashes, but unexpectedly, a single circle was considerably bigger than the others. The lengths of the two series were exactly the same, but the amount of time perceived by the surprised participants had been significantly longer. Neuroscientists refer to this as the oddball effect. Strangeness carries with it a larger amount of information than the repetitive images. And since the brain has to work harder to process them, the sense of time seems to expand. According to Daniel J. Siegel, this may be the way in which mindfulness works. A full awareness can increase the density of information and expand the subjective experience. Marcel Proust was aware of this when he wrote, the time which we have at our disposal every day is elastic. The patience that we feel expand it. Here is my role as a magician, creating or inspiring magical experiences that may actually stretch the lives of my spectators even without making them live one day longer. Wonder, amazement, and surprise are the ingredients of a truly evidence-based elixir of life. From this, a very simple rule follows. If you want to live longer, expose yourself to wonders around you. In three words, look for oddballs. Read books, listen to music, watch movies, enjoy Wired. But in doing so, never forget Uncle Ben. With great power comes great responsibility. Don't keep the elixir just for you. There are plenty of people out there waiting for someone to help extend their life. Think about the Princess Scheherazad from the Arabian Nights. Hating women, King Sharia was marrying a succession of girls only to kill each one the next morning. In order to stop this slaughter, Scheherazad offered herself as the next bride, and the night of the marriage, she started to tell the king a tale. She actually uh, introduced the concept of cliffhanger because she didn't end the tale until the next day. <laughs> Curious about how the story ended, the king was forced to postpone her execution, and by conceiving every day a new surprising tale, she had her life spared. The Arabian Night could be titled 1001 Oddballs. The good news behind this story is that the ingredients of the elixir of life are not just available to magicians. Scheherazad was a simple girl, but she could use the power of wonderful narratives to actually extend her life and the lives of the girls who would have followed. This suggests to us the second rule. You can be a magician too, in everyday life, without the need to pull rabbits out of a hat. Just be a wonder injector. Dig out good stories and don't keep them to yourself. Share your oddballs. In the spirit of sharing, let me point at just one ingredient of astonishing stories, the gigantism. Out of the story I could tell you, let's choose one at random. David, can you help me? Um, or you, 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 it's here. I'm running this card, just tell me stop whenever you like. Here, the tree of uh, clubs. Let me set here, jump to the correct tree of clubs, okay. Three of clubs. Uh, the three of clubs is a very special card. Do you know it? No. Because in 2003, this card was used by Pete Furman in a performance uh, creating wonder through a mix of magic and gigantism. The world's biggest card trick ever. A woman picked the card, took a helicopter and flew over a field of crop, and from there she could see a gigantic crop circle in the shape of the chosen card, the three of clubs. The huge card was designed and created by John Lundberg and his team of circle makers, and gave birth to one of the most spectacular is that your card moments ever seen on TV. 
I know what you are thinking of. The cards are all the same. That's true. That's how I did it. <laughs> they were all blank, except for uh, the one, uh, the, the, the three of, oops, up, sorry. Except for the three, the three of, yeah. Uh, th this trick is based on a very simple truth. Uh, humans have a hardwired ability for catching oddballs. Uh, even governments are aware of the power of gigantism. Shock and awe is a military doctrine which uses spectacular displays of force to psychologically paralyze the enemies. The lives of Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi have proven that also people have the power to create shocking demonstration in defense of human rights. But you don't need to be a superhero to save the world. My favorite story involves Blue, a Bologna-based artist known for his large-scale paintings. According to The Guardian, he is one of the 10 best living street artists. In order to create a roundabout to ease the traffic toward the commercial center, in 2012, the City Council of Bologna planned the destruction of XM24, a popular social center running the spirit of cooperation and mutual aid. At the beginning of 2013, Blue created a sort of artistic barricade by painting an astonishingly huge mural on a wall of XM24. The, the painting portrays an apocalyptic conflict inspired by Lord of the Rings, with city councillors, police, and members of the ruling classes fighting against people from the suburbs. In the spirits of shock and awe, his work was so beautiful and unexpected that the municipality was forced to alter the original project and change the location of the roundabout, saving the social center from destruction. Blue created a surprising oddball that actually stretched the life of a building which is still standing today. This is la grande bellezza we are proud of in Italy. But the most disturbing oddball comes from the south of my country. Once a user asked on Reddit, if someone arrived from 50 years in the past, what thing would you have the hardest time explaining? The best reply was, uh, I possess a device in my pocket that it is capable of assessing the entirety of information known to men, and I use it to look at pictures of cats. <laughs> As you may know, a continuous stream of migrants travel each day in small, unsafe boats from North Africa to the island of Lampedusa, midway between Tunisia and Sicily. Thousands of them have drawn during the sea crossing, a result of the general indifference to their fate. That was until one brilliant migrant decided to exploit the oddball effect to get media coverage. On August 14, a Syrian woman and her brother were saved from a stricken boat and their story covered by the national press because of an oddball in their luggage. Their cat. <laughs> Oddballs like these are punches in the stomach, the perfect cure against our numbness and indifference. This modern Scheherazade suggests to us the highest achievement we can get out of an oddball, hacking the system to raise awareness and create a better world. Thank you very much.